and then the so-called uh, composition profile let's think of again this is our what phase diagram right we are doing solidification going from liquid to solid the the red dash line means what x bar s x s for solid composition put a bar on top means the so-called quote unquote average solid composition why that because there's no diffusion in solid whatever formed first remains whatever formed sec later remains its composition as a result the average somewhere between whatever form first versus formed later okay that's our average then that initial temperature t equals t1 which means we just barely go below the liquidus line what would be the so-called composition profile within the system composition profile is change of what composition with location profile with location let's see if this makes sense composition profile vertical axis for composition horizontal small x for location when we are just barely below this t1 i have a very little of what solid and the solid composition is what kx0 remember we define k as xs or xl k is always smaller than one or greater than one in this case smaller than one right kx0 what is x0 my system overall composition which also at that moment is my what liquid remember this side is liquid liquid composition when we are just barely below here what's your liquid composition well intercept with the phase boundary it's pretty much x0 make sense x0 in the liquid solid here make sense a little bit of solid and then let's cool it down to where cool it down to something like t2 T2 is higher, uh, sorry, it's lower than what? T1. T2 is lower than T1, but still, did I get that wrong? Yeah, my arrow is the uh, wrong. T2 is smaller than T1 and higher than T3 or eutectic. You catch my mistake okay then if we are going to draw the so-called uh, composition profile still composition profile is change of composition with respect to location right and then remember we said no diffusion in solid but within the liquid i have what stirring forced stirring uniform liquid so within the liquid my composition should be what flat flat same right uniform and how flat where is it if i'm at this temperature what's the liquid composition we said it still follows what liquidus line which is xl xl is higher than somewhat higher than what x0 so xl is somewhat higher than x0 i draw it flat and then on the solid side the first bit of solid uh, composition does it change no so it remains what kx0 but right at the interface what's the solid composition we said right at the interface at this temperature we assume the so-called quote-unquote local equilibrium local equilibrium means right at the interface between solid and liquid the composition will be determined by the interceptor with the phase boundary so if i'm here t2 the solid composition is just the intercept here make sense which is xs of course xs and xl satisfy this relationship make sense so that's here and then and so we cool even lower temperature okay finally let's say we kind of reach close to what eutectic temperature 
close to eutectic temperature, somehow it closed. This is the concentration profile. The first bit of solid with a no diffusion, whatever first bit of solid, it remains what? At its composition. And then once we re reach eutectic temperature, what's the liquid temperature? Once I reach temperature reaches here, what's the liquid temperature? Remember, liquid always follows liquid line. Liquid temperature is Te. Liquid composition is just uh, this so-called Xe, right? Xe. And then right at the interface, right at the interface between liquid on the right, solid on the left, right at the interface, what's the solid composition? If I'm temperature is here, the solid at the interface would be this guy, x max. And x max, as what we draw, is slightly higher than what? Make sense? x max is slightly higher than x zero. So this would be the solid composition within the material. And this effect is what we call, again, so-called the core ring. This part is forced, is formed first. This part is formed kind of, I wouldn't say last, but later, right? And the remaining liquid would also go towards solid. But from here to here, I have a gradual change in what? Composition. Why can I have gradual change in composition? Because I assume very, very slow or essentially no diffusion. The solid doesn't uh, really change composition. Make sense? So that's kind of okay as you start to understand, okay, how does the composition and change? And the property would change if we are dealing with a solid material, metal material, or ceramic material. For polymer, this effect is less because why? Polymer, the diffusion quite often, with, even within the solid, it can be reasonably fast. But for metals, it's much slower. Make sense? Okay?